Hello, this is Biblical Tarot, and I'm back with another video. And in this video, I will be doing a reading for Person A. And the question for Person A is, what should I be working on with my writing? I'm not sure what step to take with it. And the first card that came out for the reading was the Three of Discs, and that is the Lord of Work, which is Material Establishments. The second card that came out was the Eight of Wands, and that is the Lord of Swiftness, okay? And the third card that came out was the Knight of Cups, which is Aquarius and Pisces, the last of Aquarius and the beginning of Pisces. So the Knight of Cups is the King of Cups in the regular deck, and... It also corresponds with the I Ching, and it is the 54th hexagram. And when I get to that card, I will give out the 54th hexagram oracle. So the last card, which was the bottom of the deck, and that came out to be the Magus, which is Mercury. It's the planet Mercury and the Hebrew letter Bet. So we'll start with the first card which is the three of discs, and in a regular deck, it's the three of pentacles. The three of discs is in a shape of a pyramid, and it's the Lord of Work, which is Mars and Capricorn. So regarding your writing, this card says you already have a body of work completed. And, and ongoing, it's ongoing because a pyramid is something that is built and worked on. And as we have on our American dollar bill, the top of the pyramid is not finished because it's constantly being built. The pyramid, your writing, your established work. Okay, it's the number three, which is Bina on the tree of life. And that's understanding. And it's understanding in the physical and material world of Asaya on, on the tree. It's the discs and the pentacles or the coins. Your body of work of writing points to the directions you should go. And the direction you should go is the second card, okay? And that is the Eight of Wands, Mercury and Sagittarius. And the Eight of Wands is the Lord of Swiftness, Mercury and Sagittarius. Mercury being the planet of communication. Mercury being the Logos the word, it's the words that you write. And we see a rainbow over all of the arrows. That rainbow on top of the electrical arrows is the energy from the body of work you have already completed. It's shooting out in all directions to keep on the path, for you to keep on the path that you are on. It's fire and it's blazing arrows. It's electrical, it's intellectual. Is philosophical and is so so spiritual, and it's the spirituality that's in your work. Jupiter governs Sagittarius, which is the planet of abundance. Okay, and you have abundance of that spiritual, intellectual work, the planet of abundance, and the Mercury that we see. There's a lot of communication going on, and it's an abundance of it. That is definitely on fire, like the arrows of the archer of the Sagittarian. And the card is saying, keep on the path. But we ask the question, but where to go? You already know where to go. We all deep inside know the answers to our questions. Know thyself. And who are you, says the caterpillar to Alice, who is stuck in Wonderland? Who are you? Who are you? Let's see. It's got to be the third card, which is the Knight of Cups, which in a regular deck, it's the King of Cups. So the card in the layout points to the Knight of Cups. King of Cups is that who you are, your characteristics that are connected to your writings, Aquarius and Pisces. Qualities of Venus in a weak Jupiter. The king knight has passive qualities, but an aggressiveness. 
He is the most active aspect of the water suit, writing his name in water. It's the innocence and purity of it all. His horse is leaping. I would say leaping to be a helper, a healer, a person of good counsel. I'm sure that is the qualities of your writing as it's the qualities of you, a teacher. And a teacher has to be a healer, has to be a counselor. They have to be flexible like that of water, going where is needed, saying the things that are needed, in your writings or in your tarot videos. The way to go is to use your experience, your hope, your faith, and the talents to be of good counsel to people to heal them with your words because so many people are thirsty for words, words with good counsel, words with healing. There is a lack of the water for people and you have the water to spread. So I'm going to read the 54th hexagram that goes with the King of Cups or the Knight of Cups. Thunder stirs the water of the lake, which follows it in shimmering waves. This symbolizes the girl who follows the man of her choice. But every relationship between individuals bears within the danger that wrong turn that wrong turns may be taken leading to endless misunderstandings and disagreements therefore it is necessary constantly to remain mindful of the end if we permit ourselves to drift along we come together and are parted again as the day may determine if on the other hand a man fixes his mind on an end that endures, he will succeed in avoiding the rifts that confront the closer relationships of people. So that is the oracle of the 54th hexagram, thunder over the lake, the image of the Marian maiden. Thus, the superior man understands the transitory in the light of the eternity of the end. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go to the last the last card, which is the Magus, which was the bottom of the deck. I call it the perspective card, which I'm going to turn it here so we can see it by itself. The Magus, which, okay. The bottom of the deck, the perspective card, totally made sense, which is the Magus, the magician. Mercury, that's the planet, and the Hebrew letter Bet, which is house. And it totally made sense. The planet Mercury, as you've got the eight of wands on the other, on the layout, which is Mercury and Sagittarius. So the Mercury coming up, it solidifies it with the magus popping through. It's like he is walking on sunshine as he is the mo he is the closest planet to the sun, sharing all his wisdom so others can benefit and put it into use. He's a teacher. That reminds me of you stepping out on the sunshine, following that path with your blogs and your articles and your writings. It will take you where you want to go. So that is my reading for you. I hope it helped because, like I said, only you deep down inside know where to go. And I think your writings and the things that you do already point you into that direction of healing and helping and, and being of good counsel to people. You're already walking that path to where to go. So thank you for listening to my reading and I'm going to go. I love you. Thank you for the support. Bye.